Justin Goodman is here. He's from the White Coat Waste Project. Justin, how are you, brother? Great. Thanks for having me, Mike. Do you have any insight into the dogs in Afghanistan? Do you have any idea what those dogs were, what was going on there? No, I was listening to you talk, and I've heard the same reports. People initially thought they were working dogs. Apparently, the DOD has said they're not. They are strays or sheltered dogs. Uh, either way, it looks like dogs were left in the lurch, and potentially it's the government's fault, the U.S. government's fault. Uh, and that's the same thing we're dealing with with Anthony Fauci as well. Okay, tell us this story. Uh, so I think a lot of people by now have heard uh, about Fauci funding experiments in Wuhan that may have caused the pandemic, which I believe caused the pandemic. Many other believe caused the, believe caused the pandemic. But he actually has a $6 billion bloated budget, Fauci alone, within the NIH. And he's responsible for an enormous amount of government waste and abuse, including torturing dogs and experiments both in the United States and we've just discovered and released yesterday also in Africa. Uh, so Anthony Fauci's division at the NIH uh, early, uh, late last year commissioned a study at the University of Georgia where they are infecting dogs with parasites, uh, uh, injecting them with experimental drugs, and killing them. Uh, the photo you're looking at right now is a, a study funded by Fauci over in Tunisia where he spent $375,000 to lock those dogs in those mesh cages and then fill those cages with inflected, infected sand flies that are basically eating the dogs alive on their ears, that the, the, the flies prefer to bite the dog's ears. So they starve these flies, and then they set them loose in these cages to infect these dogs with a tropical disease. Okay, I got some questions. Um, yeah. Uh, why, let, 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 let's go, let's take it from like the scientific perspective. Like why, would you say they're beagles? Why beagles? And what's the research hopefully going to, what problem is it gonna solve if all things go well in the end? Sure, so first question, why beagles? If you visit the Health and Human Services website, which is the umbrella agency over Anthony Fauci's division, they actually have an entry on there that discusses why they choose beagles. And it's because they're docile and small. So that means they're easy to abuse, they don't fight back, they're little friendly dogs and you can do what you want with them. Um, in terms of the science side of this, the experiments in the United States are completely unnecessary. Uh, they said that they're testing a vaccine in these dogs, a human vaccine in these dogs, but the FDA has said that they do not require testing on dogs. This vaccine has already been tested extensively in other animals, including dogs. Uh, and you have other agencies like the VA and the EPA that under the Trump administration have moved away from using dogs. Yet you have Anthony Fauci once again not following the science uh, and wasting, I think the number is $425,000 on these unnecessary and wasteful dog experiments where- I got, the, the, I got one, yeah. I, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, sorry. I got one minute, why Tunisia? That's a great question. Uh, we found that a lot of objectionable animal experimentation that couldn't happen in the United States has been offloaded mm -hmm. to uh, other countries where there's less oversight. So we're sending the money there, we actually have virtually no oversight of what happened. We don't do inspections at these laboratories. We don't see how the money is being spent. We just take their word for it. And you know what these photos show is exactly what the NIH doesn't want people to see, is that they're torturing dogs at taxpayer expense and unnecessary experiments. Just like we do with gain of function experiments in bats in China. Amazing. Exactly. Uh, Justin Goodman, White Coat Waste Project. Justin, thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Thank you. Have a great day, man. Uh, that's, 